Hey guys, I'm Steve, a physical therapist and strength coach for True Physical Therapy. Today, I want to answer the question of how many reps should you be performing for your exercises? So this is a question I get a lot um, from people that are new to fitness and exercise. Maybe you've started to work out at the gym, at the rec center, or at home, and you're wondering how many reps you should be performing of an exercise. What I generally recommend is that you first take a look at what your goal is. What is your one goal for fitness and exercise? Are you trying to lose weight, build strength? Um, are you preparing for a sport? Are you preparing to just play on the weekends? Um, there's a couple factors that come into how many reps you should be performing of your exercises that will help you um, navigate how many reps you should be performing for your workouts. Okay. Generally though, there are some guidelines that we like to give out um, in order to help you so that you can maximize your potential in the gym, at the rec center, or at home. The first um, section that I'd like to talk about is strength. So if you are primarily looking for strength and power, maybe you're an athlete or you are just looking to get faster, more explosive, the rep range that you should be following is anywhere between one to five or six reps. So if you're performing these kinds of exercises like uh, a squat or um, bench press, deadlift, clean and jerk, um, these are all powerful exercises that you can perform in order to build strength and power. And we recommend that you stick with a rep range from one to five or six-ish reps. The next section that I want to uh, talk about is more of a muscle building um, rep range. So. Uh, another fancy word for that would be hypertrophy. Hypertrophy basically is gaining large muscles. Um, so when we physically try and increase the size of your muscles so that you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, we call that hypertrophy. The rep range for hypertrophy generally is between six and 12 repetitions. So this means that you're gonna be performing um, exercises with a weight that is um, that you're able to perform six to 12 reps with, but by the end of those 12 reps, you should be pretty tired. You should not be able to do more than that. Um, and that same, that, th that same thing goes with the strength exercises. You should not be able to complete more than six repetitions if you are focused primarily on building strength. So the same thing applies to the hypertrophy or muscle building. If you are trying to build muscle, you should be picking a weight that is challenging enough that you are unable to complete more than 12 repetitions. All right guys, so the last one is for endurance. So if you are looking to improve your endurance, um, we recommend that you, you perform repetitions greater than 12 to 15 repetitions. So this is um, for those of you that feeling very fatigued, you're unable to complete um, long bouts of exercise, this is gonna be for you guys if you're looking to improve your endurance um, and improve the muscle endurance. So what you can do is um, find a weight that you can do at least 12 to 15 times. I recommend that you shouldn't be doing over 30 repetitions. If you're able to do more than 30 reps, um, you probably want to up or increase uh, the weight so that it's a little bit more challenging. All right guys, so that was my, those are my tips for rep ranges. If you're new to exercise, um, I recommend that you stay in the higher rep ranges. So um, the upper 12s and 15s right in the border of hypertrophy and endurance. And then as you become more um, experienced, uh, more um, strong, you're gonna start being able to lower your rep, rep ranges and uh, increase the weight to get you stronger. As always, stay true, stay healthy, and stay rec connected.